I'm back. It's so good to be back. Boom shaka. You thought I was gone? No. The deuce collector sneaks up on you. I've been on the bench. Boom, coach. Time to go in. It's front line. It's varsity time. I'm back. I'm Brett Hobel, one of the new trainers on this season's Biggest Loser. I've been in this industry for almost 20 years. I'm a fitness trainer and I'm also a motivator. I'm here to change people's lives and get people in shape. I'm a martial artist. I do capoeira, muay thai, boxing, kickboxing. I've studied. I was a pre-med. There is a science to training. There's no guesswork on anatomy, physiology, kinesiology. It's called science. And I know what it's like to be fat. As an overweight teenager, I went through a lot of issues. It took a lot of blood, sweat, tears, a lot of mental, physical, and emotional work to get out of that, but that's what I want to show these contestants. Don't think, just do! To get in shape and to change your life doesn't come free. You gotta earn it. That if they want it bad enough, if they can change themselves mentally and emotionally right here, the rest will follow. It's not how hard you fall. Life's gonna throw some tough things at you. It's about picking yourself up and moving forward. That's the key. Going in the ring, everybody bow respect as you come into the ring. And this is where we kind of tie all the drills together. Here we go. Bow into your partner. Three, two, one. Depending on where I hold the pads, they have to move. Let's go! Red line! Red line! Red line! I get down on the ground, they get a sprawl. Yeah. If I lift my hands up, they gotta pick me up. Yeah! Woo! And guess what? I'm going to fight back. Oh, I'm going to punch. I'm going to kick. Come on! I'm going to push. I'm going to get on top of them. Because life fights back, and I want them to show me that they have the ability to get back up and keep going. We as a group have been working with Brett on metabolic resistance training. And the entire point of it is to do something at the very beginning of this set that spikes your heart rate and then you never stop going through the entire rest of the workout. Stomach, baby, stomach, baby, five. Throwing as many punches as we can. Go. In that 30 second time, 30 seconds. Three, two, time. Rotate. And we have to jog while we're pulling the sled. Go, 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 go. Where's the jog? Thank you. We're doing some pull up kind of things. You worked too hard to go home this week. Three, two, one, time. Rotate. I wanted to do something special at the workout. What is it? Capoeira. Here we go. Balanza, cover that face. Why is capoeira so important? Because it's beyond just the physical exercise. There is a relationship that happens. Capoeira is a movement language, call and response. So remember, don't cross your hands until you switch your feet. Good, Olivia. It is so appropriate right now because we're in singles and I wanted to take the girls who I haven't trained before and build that relationship. Nice. Yeah, That's awesome. Good. Thanks. If they can change themselves mentally and emotionally right here, the rest will follow. Hello. You're gonna have 91 pounds and 54 pounds loaded up with weight vests and backpacks to make you never forget what it was like from day one. You like that? You wanna go back there? <laughs> no. Putting on this weight brings me back to where I was from the beginning. I'm gonna break you today, my friend. I'm going to go so. home with you. That's your past. You're gonna drag it to the future. You gotta take it with you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Remember it all the way through, girl. Pick it up, up, up. Let's go, let's go. Straight up that hill. Come on. You gotta fight it home. Pull. Pull, Kaylee. One more. My body's changing dramatically, and it's exciting to see, but the emotional part is still a little behind. Hardest thing going home was I still felt the same. 
I still felt like I was 233 pounds. Even though I get on the scale, I see a one. I st why? I don't know. I don't know why. Because you're not changing in here, Kaylee. If you don't do that, you are going to go right back to where you started. Do you understand me? I do. I, I mean, I saw it when I went home. Like, I went back to what I did. You have to define yourself. You've been doing it every day here. You're at the front of the pack. You're the number one girl here. Do you understand how impressive that is? Kaylee got lost like one pound over 14 days. They all went back to a lot of their old habits and they don't remember the 50, 60, 100 pounds that they lost. Wow. Those memories are what have to drive you to keep the weight off. How's that feel? Feels so good, like literally, weight off your shoulders. It's not just the weight, it's the emotion, it's all that stuff that you lift off. That's the key, flush it out. We're a team here, but I also, the team is built on these individual strengths coming together. It's the bottom line. Just go to another area, because I want everyone to stand by themselves and just start to reflect on why they're really here. Find an area, be by yourself, we're going to take a few minutes and just no talking, just thinking. Look around at the scenery. This is not a gym. This is Mother Nature. It's totally overwhelming when you realize it's been 12 weeks and uh, you're a different person than you were. I'm become satisfied and grounded with who I am. It's just exciting to, you know, finally become what I've wanted to be, what other people wanted me to be. I did it. I'm becoming who I want to be, you know? All this exercise and getting in shape, you wouldn't think it would do anything for me inside. But it is, you know, I feel like a better person all the time now. I, I feel that inner strength I've never felt before. Justin, the, the, the light has gone on. It is shining so bright. And like you just said, it's nice to be able to say that you're somebody special. That's a big step for this big man. Let's get a little, a little red hug. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of you guys. Uh. This is the hard stuff. You think the physical stuff is the hard stuff? This right here, this is the hard stuff. I'm giving this more science-oriented test for the contestants because since day one, I've been trying to teach the contestants the science behind the training. Let's see if they've been listening. So I have, a, I have a science background. I was a pre-med. My dad was actually a professor and still is at Princeton. So I take this very seriously. Okay, I can tell. You like those glasses? The glasses, the glasses, the glasses. All right, me and the professor outfit is dear to me because my father has been a professor at Princeton for almost 40 years. Neuroscience, boom, go pop. For you, Irene, which of the following is an example of an anaerobic exercise? Walking slowly on the Stairmaster, slow jogging on the treadmill, intense circuit training with weights, or light calisthenics? I would say light jogging on the treadmill. Why would you say that? No, anaerobic. Wait. Anaerobic. Anaerobic. No, I want the Stairmaster. So walking slowly on the Stairmaster. No. Why am I, what? That's gonna be C. Intense circuit training, correct. Yes! Um, extent workout, working out with weights. Four points for this girl right here! Wow. One thing about Olivia, she listens. She really listens. And I know that she puts things into practice and she asks questions. Now Olivia, compared to Hannah, much different. You're gonna tell me what the three macronutrients are. Uh, what's a macronutrient? 
Here we have carbohydrates. One is a complex carb and one is a simple carb. Point to one each of those. This is a complex, this is a simple carb. 10 push-ups right now. You got two types of carbs, simple and complex. <laughs> you know, you gotta know the difference between either one. Complex, simple. Very good. We had some really top performers. I think Jay and Olivia did really, really well. Austin was right behind them. Correcto Mundo! So as a total, I think everybody did well. So I think you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what we have in store today. We are gonna climb this, gentlemen. That is gonna be fun. That's uh, one hell of a climb. The metaphor is you don't wanna slip and fall here, you don't wanna slip and fall at the ranch or at home. So let's get to it. Sounds good. Let's have a look here. I'm standing at the foot of the mountain looking up, sun is out. And I'm like, wow, that's gonna be a tough climb for me. These guys are gonna get their tails handed to them. Right, okay. That's it. Good job, Jay. Good. How you doing, Austin? As you're climbing, you can't help but to look down. You are going a long ways if you go down. Nice job, brother. Beauty. Nice job, Jay. Yeah! That's Woo! what I'm talking about! Good work, Austin. Almost to the top. Let's all take a little lean back here, shall we? Just a teeny line. How about I work on staying alive and yeah. work on enjoying yourself? Look, this is about trust. You guys have almost made it to the top. Give me one lean back. Lean back with one hand on it. One hand on the carabiner. Good, put both hands up. Lean back, gentlemen, we're in line. I look down, these guys are right behind me. Jay is not losing a step, and we all lean back and let go and just let out a yell. Everybody letting go of their fears, that's one of my favorite moments so far on the season for sure. To get on the top of the mountain was the most freeing feeling I could ever have. I mean, I went up the side of a frigging cliff at 53 years old. I would not even dreamed of doing anything like this, you know, four months ago. I'm overcoming the obstacles I've never been willing to face. My weight, my fear heights, who I am and trusting myself, and that's the whole point. To the top! That's it! Uh, uh. Proud of you guys. I think Whoa. this rock climbing was so symbolic because it's like that big insurmountable obstacle in front of them and just losing the emotional baggage that's kept them down. Look, at this point, you guys have lost so much weight. Losing an extra five pounds a week, I really don't think that's the hardest part. It's losing the fear, taking away another layer from yourself. Yeah. Good job.